Look, we are living in crazy times, and the challenges that our country and the world face are probably the most dangerous for a very, very long time. This is tough stuff. And I think the first point to be made in answer to your question is people have got to understand what a horrific danger Donald Trump will be if he is reelected. If you believe that climate change is real and a real threat to the future of this planet and our kids and grandchildren, Donald Trump thinks climate change is a hoax. If you think there's something wrong when three people own more wealth than the bottom half of American society and we have an unprecedented level of income and wealth inequality, Donald Trump very clearly wants to give more tax breaks to billionaires. If you think that our health care system today is broken, Donald Trump wants to end the Affordable Care Act and throw millions of people off the health care that they have. If you think that women should have the fundamental right to control their own bodies, something you know we have taken for granted for decades, Donald Trump will be supporting a national abortion ban and make it harder for women uh, to get abortions. So, and by the way, uh, no, no tiny matter, if you happen to believe in democracy <laughs> and the right of people to control their own lives, Donald Trump has made it very clear that he will take us to an authoritarian type of society. Those are the guys around the world, strong men around the world who do not believe in democracy are his heroes. So it is absolutely imperative that we defeat Trump, clearly the most dangerous candidate in maybe American history, all right? Now, do I have disagreements with Biden? Do I have strong disagreements with Biden? The answer is yes, I do. And I'm going to do everything I can to move Biden in a more progressive agenda. But I'm not going to throw the baby out with the bathwater. I'm not going to allow Donald Trump to become elected president. So what do we have to do? We have to go forward in a several pronged approach. Number one, we defeat Donald Trump. Number two, at the grassroots level, we mobilize people not only to vote for Biden, but to support the many, many good progressive candidates who are today under assault from APAC and other super PACs out there. One of the very nice things that I think does not get the attention that it deserves is over the last six, eight years, we have seen a real growth of young often people of color, progressives in the House of Representatives. Far more, I suspect, than in the history of this country, far more than when I was in the House in the 1990s. we got to protect those people from the assault that they're going to be getting hit with uh, by uh, super PACs. And thirdly, at the grassroots level, we got to continue the pressure for a progressive agenda, an agenda, by the way, which the American people support. Health care is a human right broadening the trade union movement, making it easier for workers to form unions. And we're making some real progress in that uh, direction. Moving aggressively, not only in this country, around the world to combat the fossil fuel industry and save the planet from climate change, et cetera, et cetera. So these are extraordinarily difficult times. And on top of all of that, we've gone through COVID, gone through mental health crisis, going through that right now. But at the very least, Donald Trump must be defeated. All of us got to work. Uh, on that effort.